Hi, I'm Richard Keel. You probably know me as Jaws from the James Bond movies. You know, the guy with the steel teeth. Or you might know me as uh, Mr. Larson from Happy Gilmore, the guy with the nail on his head. Well, I'm here today to tell you about my light rider scooter. It's fantastic, and I want you guys to know that you can travel all over the world on airplanes with a scooter like this. Did you know you can ride a scooter like this right up to the airplane door? And when you get to the airport where you're going, they'll bring it up to you in the jetway so you can ride off. It's great. I used to have people push me in wheelchairs. It was kind of demeaning. And also, if there was a long layover and I had to go to a restaurant to pass some time, I would have to have the waitress call the, the wheelchair pushers to come back and get me. Sometimes uh, I'd worry about missing my plane. One time, I did miss my plane. Plus, you have to pay these guys to, to push your wheelchair uh, and tips and things. And uh, on a typical trip, I spend $40, $60, $80. And then when I got where I was going, I'd have to rent a scooter at a convention. And with my light rider, <clears throat> I don't have to worry about tips. If I want to go to the restroom, I can drive right in. If I want to go to a restaurant, I can drive my light rider scooter right to a restaurant and leave when I want to. Make sure I don't miss the plane. You know, Medicare paid for the scooter, but uh, even if I wasn't old enough to qualify for Medicare, the money I would save on tips for guys pushing my wheelchair and renting scooters in the convention cities, I could, I could pay for one of these in no time. Now the light rider's got a basket underneath here. You can carry a few things in that, and it's attached by magnets, so it's real easy. And then uh, Daryl, you hand me that box there. Uh, I, can, I weigh 280 pounds, and uh, I can carry a box of photos that I use to autograph at conventions. It weighs about 20 pounds, and uh, it'll carry 300 pounds easily, and it goes really quick. Now look how, how fast it turns around here. It'll do it'll almost spin on a dime. I can drive right into a restroom and go through small doors. It's fantastic. The, um, the battery just slides right out. I will show you how to do that. Come around over here, Daryl, and pull the battery out for me. You don't have to unhook any wires or anything, and it's a gel pack, so it's spill-proof. It just slides right back in. Daryl's going to show you how you take the, uh, the seat off. It's real easy. You don't have to undo any nuts or bolts. It just lifts right off, and then it just pops right back uh, in. Now, Daryl's going to show you how you drop away the, uh, the motor and the rear axle and rear wheel assembly. It's that easy. And then it's uh, just uh, position over the, uh, and snap it out, and that's put back together. Go ahead and put the uh, seat back on, and the battery back in. Now, when it's all taken into four different parts, you can put it in the trunk of a good-sized car. So I really highly recommend the Light Rider. Uh, I, I'm not being paid to, to talk about it. They're not giving me a dime. I'm doing it because it's a great scooter. It's a good company. And for people like yourself and myself that need to be able to fly and get around, it's the way to do it.